Okay. Hello, Michelle. How are you doing? I'm great, Annalisa. How are you? I'm fine. And I want to apologize uh, for the video that we posted on Facebook. I don't know what happened with Zoom. It got disconnected. And we went on for a half hour, me and Michelle, and nothing was live. So this is the third time that we got- All three minutes of it. Yeah. <laughs> this is the third time that we're gonna do it. And so we are recording a Zoom and then we're gonna post it on Facebook. So this way we know that the, the video is full, you know, the full video. It's a hundred percent. And uh, and we've got great stuff for you to, to let you know at the end too. So stay tuned on our video. Um, so earlier we did, um, I did a um, pineapple sorbet and I, I only bought a can of pineapples slices uh, because it was big, good enough. I used up everything but the can, of course. And I just wanted to show you what it looked like. Wow. So this is pineapple sorbet. Just used the whole can, froze the fruit, froze the syrup um, in the freezer for a few hours, add a little bit of sugar and ice. And that's it. So very economical, inexpensive way to serve something with your guests or a quick pick-me-up refresher in the household. It's a palate cleanser. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the video on Facebook it was like F. They saw just you to throw the pineapple in. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there you go. That's the result. Yes. So now so, we're going to make because you finished the pineapple. So I finished the pineapple and I, I, uh, I remember that I froze some strawberries. Um, I bought some strawberries and it was, uh, I was afraid it was, it was getting too ripe. So I decided to freeze it and I, I remembered I had them. And uh, so I think I'm going to do the uh, berry dream. That's the iconic berry dream. That's a good tip to not to lose fruit. You can cut it up and... Uh lay it out in a sheet. And I don't want to say a bad word. Every time I say these words, <laughs> my kids like, mom. <laughs> uh, so in a parchment paper, on the parchment paper, and uh, you lay the fruit and you freeze it. So this way they are not like all at one lump. Like clumped together. Yeah, yeah. not clumped together. So um, it's a good tip because this way you don't lose the fruit because sometimes, like, especially this time of the year, there is a lot of fruit fly and they eat the fruit, like, uh, and it go bad, like, so fast. That is, that is so true. I've, I've had a fruit fly, fruit fly problem earlier this summer. I didn't realize they all came in because I leave the door open in and out and they try to get into my sourdough. <laughs> oh, yeah, they smell it. <laughs> You know what? They you know, smell it. I'm like, this sourdough must be good. This fruit flies love them. Yeah, you know what I do? I get a little glass with um, uh, balsamic vinegar and uh, apple cider vinegar, mix it together. I put it next to the fruit, so they all go in there. Oh, that's good. I will try balsamic. I'll try balsamic. They, I tried apple cider. That didn't really work. It only killed like four of them. Yeah, but the balsamic, it's like the, they have the sugar in it. It's the sugar. I see. So they go in. So it's my fruit fly catch. <laughs> That's very, uh, very, uh, uh, I guess it's a very good, like non-toxic uh, chemical thing. Yeah. And All I, natural. I made the balsamic vinegar with the Thermomix. That's what I want to Oh, wow. So we, we have to do one segment of that, really doing uh, some vinegars and stuff. Yeah, next time. Uh, so next we're going to do the Benedictin. Yeah, so um, should I get started? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the berry dream. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead. And um, I pre-measured the stuff earlier, so it will be quicker this time around. So this is five ounces of sugar. And it's going to pulverize it for 15 seconds. <laughs> So now you're gonna, yeah, it's a little noisy. So now you're gonna make powdered sugar. And um, so this way you don't have to buy it. Now the, the sugar is coming out. Yeah, right, like um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend they're smoking. 
<laughs> the thermomix is smoking. <laughs> the thermomix is smoking. Okay, so as you've seen before, I'm oh, sorry, it's telling me to hit next. Here comes all the powdered sugar. I'm just going to, whoo, I am full of sugar right now. Um, so now I'm going to put in um, the strawberries, the frozen strawberries that I have in the freezer. And I have about a pound of it. There it goes. And then uh, I'm gonna do the lesser of the lime juice. So you could put about half an ounce to an ounce of lime or uh, lemon juice to taste. So let's see, I'm just gonna put like about half an ounce. Okay, there you go. Next, two egg whites. So I had, uh, so one egg white should have about an ounce. One egg should have an ounce of egg white. So I measured two ounces of egg whites because I had a whole thing from eight egg yolks that saved up, so I took two ounces of it. So now I need my spatula. Turn it up. So insert spatula through a hole in the mixing bowl, and then we're gonna turn it as it blends. All right, so this one is gonna be a minute of blending. So we have the Thermomix spatula, so this way... Uh, yeah, it's allowed. So the Thermomix spatula is made uh, for uh, this, this round uh, circle, is made so this way you can put it in the hole up here. It doesn't touch the blade. And you can uh, uh, just mix like Michelle, she's doing. And uh, you know, when you do like uh, high speed, sometimes hair goes underneath and it doesn't move. So you don't want to open and you don't want to stick nothing else than the spatula in the thermomix. And you just twist and twist it like Michelle, she's doing it. And, um, and you got everything blended together. So now Michelle, she's supposed to be almost done. She's mixing all the goodness together. She had ice. Um, no. Okay, so now it's asking me to insert the spatula, not spatula, butterfly whisk, I mean. Yeah, the butterfly. Uh, butterfly? Butterfly, Michelle, it's four no more. Because if you do more than four, you're going to disintegrate it. Yeah, so now the thing is, I'm trying to find the highest. Um, yeah, you just okay. stick it in, stick it inside, and when you find the, the space is gonna go in by itself. Okay. And it'll do, it, I, it won't wiggle, right? Okay, there you go. I think that's good. I think that's good because I can't tell. I'm trying to poke like where the blade is because I remember that's the guideline. Yeah, so, okay. I think I'm in the right spot. Yeah, if you went in, it means that it's in, in the right spot. Oh, so I can't go wrong? No. Okay, excellent. See, you learn something new. Every, Every time. time. From each other. From each other. And with the cooking demos, you pick up a lot of stuff. So definitely join us. So this one is asking uh, three minutes of three and a half. So do you want to talk about our promo while I'm doing that? Yes. Um, they, this week, uh, actually yesterday, uh, to the 22nd. Michelle, is to the 22nd? The 22nd? Until the 21st. The 21st. Yeah, so we have uh, a thermal mix and we have a second mixing bowl, which is this one. I love to have two mixing bowls because this uh, prior of uh, this uh, cooking class, I, I made, um, uh, how do you call it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Bolognese sauce. Oh yeah, so you'll be able to, right. Yeah. So you could you could cook two things. Yeah. So I'm gonna without leave, having to move it around. It's, it's still warm. So I'm gonna leave the sauce here. I'm gonna warm it up later, and then I'm gonna boil the pasta in the other um, uh, thermomix bowl. So now I didn't have to take it out and wash the bowl, and I had to do the granita. So now since I have two, 
I come my second one because I'm a consultant with Thermomix. And if you join us, there's a program that along the way that you sell Thermomix, that you sell the Thermomix, you're gonna earn your second mixing bowl. That's how I got it. You sell eight Thermomix and you got the second mixing bowl. It's a value of $200. But this month we ever with the Thermomix and only for $100. So it's $100 saving. That is a great value. That is, and, and you know, too bad, 90 days ago, when I bought my Thermomix, because I couldn't wait, they didn't have any promo. So this is a very great value. So definitely it's a limited ending on the 21st. So hurry, take advantage of it, and let's get cooking together. Yeah, and you're gonna earn your second one. That's right. I am working to earn my second one. Yes. I'm learning everything and I am part of a excellent and fabulous team yes. of women here in New Jersey. Yeah. So if you want to join us, you can call Michelle or you can call me or you can text us and um, you can become a consultant, which it's a uh, zero cost to become a consultant. You just have to, if you have a Thermomix or you want to buy a Thermomix, and uh, it's good for stay home mom for people that have like another job like a second job because if you like to cook you don't have to work um how do you say the the saying that if you like your job you don't work one day uh, how they say it um oh so like um if you love your job you don't work uh every day all your life something like that it was yeah so i mean you know this is your passion you will enjoy every minute of doing it. So, um, and you have to cook and eat anyway. So why not, why not take advantage? Okay, so now I'm gonna remove the butterfly whisk. Okay, what's the fast way of removing this? Now it's like stuck. <laughs> uh, you wiggle it, the other side. Wiggle. Wiggle? It's so cold. Okay, do I have to remove it? Uh, okay, you know what? I'm not going to remove it now because it's really, I'm just going to serve it. Yeah, just so, serve it and then you remove it at the end. Yeah, so I will remove it at the end. So look, oh wait, so I'll show you before I scoop everything out of there. This is what the berry dream looks like. It's Isn't cool? that a, a great, oh, pink, rosy, wow. Looks so creamy. It's like a mousse. Yeah, it's like a, th that's right. It's like a, a mousse, strawberry mousse. And it's all natural ingredient. I just put what's in my freezer. I found strawberries. I have um, sugar and egg whites already. And voila, I have um, a berry dream. I could have dessert tonight after dinner. And I'm just going to put it here and garnish. Wow, look good. There you go. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, so, great. So what are you making today? I'm gonna make, finally, <laughs> I'm gonna make grani almond granita, granita alle mandorle, which a lot of my friend from Sicily asked this recipe. And this is the third time, me and Michelle, that we do this video, <laughs> that we wanna show this granita uh so yes now, yeah so in third, the, third, uh, third time a charm right three yes. times a charm and so i'm gonna go to my recent because i made it three times this is my third time <laughs> so the thermomix <laughs> just about an hour ago <laughs> uh, the thermomix every time we cook something thermomix remember what we cooked so if i go to recently cooked and you, I'm gonna find it right here because it was, um, I made it before. So I'm gonna press on it, I do restart, and then do start cooking. So now I need 100 grams of uh, almonds. I peeled my almonds, I put, I put both because I like the horiness of the skin. But usually with this recipe, you have to, um, how do you say, Michelle, when you take blanch. off? Blanch, blanch. So yeah. the, um, you just boil the water, put the almond inside, just one minute or two, 
and, and then you drain it and you peel them off and then you let it dry again. And that's how you make it. So I need 100 grams of helmet. It's 105. Okay, the only time you have to be precise with recipe is when you bake. Uh, so we do next. We measure in cup and the lid, which I did. We go to speed seven, uh, 10 seconds. And now it's smelling the almonds. It's gonna pulverize it so it's really fine and ready for the recipe. Yeah, it changed the sound because it was grinding. Uh, my dog just jumped and said, what happened? <laughs> yeah. So now if you see, we got powder. There you go, it pulverized and it. Pulverized it and um, you can make almond flour, you can make um, almond milk, almond butter, peanut butter. It's everything with the nuts, you can do it. So we're gonna put it, uh, the Thermomix is, the recipe is asking to put the, all the almond in a plate. My dog wake up. You hear the bell, it's my little doggy. Yeah, that's that's not the reindeer, guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early for that. Uh, it's my little dog. And now we put 250 grams of sugar. So I just put it in this bowl, but I, the good thing of Thermomix that you can measure, there is a the scale inside the Thermomix. So I'm gonna measure 250. Okay. Now I'm gonna close the lid again. And then we're gonna do the speed 10 for 20 seconds. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do powder sugar like you did. Yeah, so this is white sugar and Thermomix has the ability to change it into, or, or mill it to become powdered sugar. Or 10X, like they put in the Domino boxes, so you don't have to buy extra sugar and leave your pantry space for something else. And it's like, yeah, so the Thermomix, her Thermomix now is smoking, <laughs> as we like to call it. Yeah, I like to tap it a little bit because it goes up. Oh, that's it. that's another tip. Tap it. Yeah, you see, if I don't. Do yeah, that, yeah. So tap. tapping will will lessen the stuff that's on the top. Yeah. So now he's asking me to use the the spatula and put everything down, strip it down. Yeah. Because otherwise it's gonna be stuck on top. Yes, yeah, so you don't want all the the good stuff on the side of the bowl. Yeah. And. Uh, Spatula is very good because it's made it just for this. So just use the spatula in your Thermomix. You don't want to scratch it. You don't want to... Yeah, so it's made with silicone. Yeah, so now I'm going to do my powder. Oh, so the, so the almond that you set aside. Yeah, so I'm going to put it back in. And okay, then so I'm... back with the sugar. Yeah, and then I'm going to put uh, 60 gram of water. Okay, a little bit more. And then I go again with the measuring cup and the lid. I'm gonna mix everything together and I'm gonna do to speed four for 20 seconds again. Okay. And now it's becoming like a oh, blending it together. Uh, it's like a milk. Uh, with the liquid. Yeah. Uh, the one that I did it before, but uh, it never went on. <laughs> it's more white because it's like uh, the emerald there without the skin. This one is going to be more browny, brownish, but the taste is good. Anyway. Taste the same, yeah. equally the same. Yeah, you see. Just the color change, okay? Yeah. You say we have something like that, but it's more like liquidy, it's like sugary. You can decolorizada. 
and uh, you mix in summertime you just put ice in the glass of water and or data and it's like a refreshing it's almond, like an almond syrup, syrup. okay yeah. it's almond syrup so now i have to put 700 grams of ice And then we do next. And now I have to do the same thing that uh, Michelle did. To put my spatula in and I have to help it. So I'm gonna go to speed uh, nine for one minute. Excellent. So now she's mixing it, helping the uh, berry to, uh, not the berry, the granita to go down. Uh, it, it could go on the top, right? So by helping it along, it will mix it and blend it even better. And, but the thermal mix, it's such an ergonomic bowl, um, you know, the, so that it really stays, it doesn't stay up or down for too long with the, with the, with the blade. And as you could see, all the, her bowl, like mine, started, like you see the frostiness on the side of the bowl. That's the cold, the coldness of the ice. And it's mixing it and making the granita. So crushed ice with all the almond flavor. Yep. So now I, we are done. I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to show you how the granita looks like. Wow. That is awesome. Yeah, so I'm gonna scoop it in my glass. And there we go, our granita. Every now we have a little snack, palate, before dinner. Before dinner, every, everywhere you go, if you got a, a granita, it's a lot of money around here. In Italy, it's cheaper. And you know, in Sicily they make uh, this brioche and then you put the granita inside. You can make almond granita, uh, pistachio, chocolate, um, like berries, uh, lemon. Where I come from, I come from Amalfi Coast. And you know, um, you've been there? I've never been to Amalfi Coast, but I've seen photos. So I yeah. know how People big those lemons are. Yes, we have lemon everywhere. And, uh, you know, along the road, and there is like this, in the summertime, there is this little Vespa, up, I don't know, it's like a little tricycle. Yeah, and, Vespa, yeah. yeah. And they sell, they sell um, granita, lemon granita. So when I make- Oh, so they go around and they have the granita in their, in their Vespa, yeah. okay. <laughs> and when I, so when we went there, my, son loved that so much so now he's keep asking for uh, lemon granita and i make him all the time because it's uh when i make it with the thermal mix it is the same so we don't miss it oh that is awesome you see we could we could uh, import the taste of amalfi coast yeah thanks to the thermal mix mm. it's very good you can taste the almonds like it's unbelievable yeah, so it's not really that um, that much browner, you know, with the, with the skin in it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I like it better with the skin on. I think it, it I taste more the almond. The almond, yeah. I, you might have more both. nutrients in the skin, no? Yeah, I tried it both because the recipe required for um, to take off the skin. Right. But I like it uh, with the skin on. Right, but I don't think you see the skin, right? Because it gets pulverized so much that no, you don't. It's, it's you a, won't even see a skin like floating nothing because it just does a perfect job of blending, pulverizing everything together. Yeah, it's here and there, so you, you don't see it. You don't see it, so it's yeah. very very. But good. you, but it imparts a great taste to it. Yeah. That's awesome! Wow, that was excellent. So, Michelle, where they can find you if they want. Because you can yeah, post. so I am on Facebook, Michelle Amorino, and also on Instagram, Level Up in the Kitchen. Um, so if you have any questions for us, um, you could reach me that way or with Annalisa. And my I have Facebook account, it's Annalisa Del Grosso, is Cooking with Annalisa. 
and uh, no cooking experience with Annalisa I think <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, uh, and Instagram and Instagram is cooking with Annalisa so um, if you want to call us you can even get like um, uh, online cooking experience uh, we uh, set up a zoom with you and if you do that you can get a free shipping it, uh, when you buy Thermomix, you can get a free shipping and you can choose one of the rewards gift. That's right. You get rewarded for attending a private demo. Yeah. And, if, and if you have any particular uh, recipes that you would like us to cook for next time, um, yeah. give us a shout too. Let us know. Ask us and then we're going to, um, you know, we're going to try to make it possible. Me and Michelle yeah. are going to do. So every week, maybe we're going to try to do this every week. And uh, if you, yeah, if you like something, just tell us and we're going to do it. That's right. And we also have our team. Um, we are part of a team of Madalena Pazcandolo, and we do that every Saturday about four o'clock. We also have another opportunity to see a cooking demo Saturdays at about 4 p.m. And this Saturday, we're going to have something very good because we're going to do That's right. Again. It's every week we have a different um, uh, theme. theme. Yes. Could be theme ingredient, but something uh, theme. So it's, it's a fun way to learn uh, international because we have done, uh, you've done an uh, Italian recipe. The, the one pineapple was also an Italian recipe. Um, it's all made possible because we have the Google translator. Yeah. So join us if you want to start and work with us we have a great team in new jersey with madalena and it's fun to be in the in the madalena palace yeah country. yeah and and i one thing i found i've only been like uh i only own a thermomix for 90 days not only do you have a, a thermomix uh, as a kitchen assistant you also have a whole world of thermomix a community of available at your fingertips. So like you see me like trying to cook, I never did this before, I never did that before. There's always somebody to call, somebody to ask, and all recipes, about 60 to 62,000, and it's increasing every month. Yeah, 62,000 plus, and every month we have two new collection. And um, the thing that I wanna say, how, how many recipes you made in 90 days? Oh gosh, I made about 70 plus. And 70 plus, and I actually made a little menu just for fun because the cook I do um, had all the information. So I just looked at the cook I do and looked at the history, like a diary of whatever I cooked. And I just put it in category. So check out my Facebook post or Instagram. I posted it and it was so, uh, it was amazing like to see like, oh my God, I made that much. I would never be able to do that on my own. Yeah, it's true. I, I, yeah. I've been trying so many recipes that I never tried before, like Mexican or Chinese. I'm like, I, will, I have no clue to make it because I come from Italy, you know, so I make Italian food. Right. But with Thermomix, I'm experiencing, experiencing like uh, a lot of foods that I never did before. Yeah, and it's right at our fingertips. That's the best part. I, you don't have to buy uh, a, a cookbook. It's all part of the app. And it yeah. guides you throughout the way. Just make sure you purchase the ingredients. And we now we have the online shopping available also. Right? So every time you want something, what it, how, how does it work, uh, Annalisa? The online shopping? Yeah. It, you just go on, on the thermomix.com and you choose whatever you want to buy for the thermomix. Right. Like as for the cook I do. Oh, the cook I do. It, we have, uh, if you download the app, uh it's free for one month yes and then uh when you buy a thermomix you're gonna get the cook i do for uh, six months free and after that it's 39 dollar per year so it's less than a book but yeah. more than sixty two thousand. dollars it gets updated too for free yeah. it's yeah. all part of it yeah you have thermomix five or you have six you see when they do updating the Thermomix is updating too, so it's never out of date. That is awesome. Yeah. Okay, Michelle. Well, thank you, Annalisa. This is a pleasure. 
I was, finally was able to make the berry dream. Yeah, <laughs> it was <laughs> nice to, um, you know, cook with you. And uh, we always have fun when we do this. And so we're going to see you next week. Maybe we're going to decide a day and uh, we see what we're going to come up with. Maybe bread. Yeah. Well, well we have uh, 62,000 recipes to choose from. Bread, yeah. So we'll just pick a theme and uh, we'll surprise you with that for next week. Yeah. Well, thank you, everyone. I hope you have a pleasant evening. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, everyone from all over the world that is watching us because we have friends all over the world. That's right. Um, and have a good night and have a great rest of the week. Very good. Bye. Bye.